Hey guys, my name is Kiefer. I'm the Toolaholic on Instagram. I review tools on there and I'm just branching off onto YouTube now. So uh, bear with me if I make a mistake. Um, and also I'm gonna try and do this all in one take. I have with me the new DeWalt Flex Volt, uh, 60 volt and a 20 volt in one. I want to take a look at the insides and see just how they did this. Um, of course, we saw the drawings when this battery was first released. Little animation is showing um, the wiring. Whoops. But uh, I want to check it out for myself. I, st I want to start with the shipping clip. So this shipping cap is something that DeWalt developed to allow them to get over that hurdle of um, a 100 watt hour battery on an airplane, class 9 shipping. So what this does is it protects these uh, terminals here and also there's a physical disconnect that's happening inside the battery. So these little tabs, when you slide the cap on, engage in this, these slots here and they push a bar um, that attaches into a switch. I'll show you once we open the battery. This actually took a really long time to do. Um, the caps on the side, I got them off but they were glued on well, it was just excess glue. It's like a urethane or some sort of sealant that they use on the end of the terminals here. But with some gentle persuasion with a screwdriver, I was able to pop both caps off. So both of them were sort of glued. For a second, I thought I wasn't even gonna get the battery apart, but it finally started to pop. Getting the top off was much harder, but we'll go through that in a second. Uh, we'll start with the battery pack uh, well the cells actually I can't go any deeper than this like the the cells are really well protected they're built into this sort of cage but um, I can't see any markings these look like Samsung cells from um, previous packs so I'm hoping they're Samsung 18650 20 R's or 25 R's I'm not too sure but um, the wiring, well, how the pack is assembled actually surprised me. I thought it was going to be, you know, th th this is essentially three 2.0 slim packs joined together. And I thought it was going to be 2.0, 2.0, 2.0 to create this 60 volt battery. But if you follow the way the bars are um, joined together, the packs are actually in groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. So this is 2.0, 2.0, 2.0. And you can see that with the three tabs on each side, one, two, three. So these are individual groupings. And that's why I would assume all these wires go to their um, individual packs, which again monitors the inside of, the, of each cell voltage and um, will report back to the motherboard here so underneath this cap this was really hard to take apart it was basically glued on with um, silicone on the ends here so this took about 20 minutes to pry apart but underneath all this is your main motherboard and uh, it's coated everything here is coated in silicone and the bottom is um, you can barely see it, but there's some white. Yeah, the bottom, all the connections are dipped in this. It's like a urethane sealant. You can flex it a bit so it's not epoxy. But uh, yeah, the board is completely covered. Everything's well protected. But here was the uh, surprising part for me. Now, I thought this battery was going to be, you know, wired in series and wired in parallel with, uh, you know, maybe like a common ground and then a, a series connection and then a parallel connection to pull. But it seems like the actual voltage determination happens within this chip here. Everything leads underneath the chip. I can't see what's happening because you'd have to disassemble all of this and unsolder these and I can't do that. But, um... This is the sh shipping disconnect basically here. It's a switch. It has to be because I can't see what else it would be. There's uh, two bars here that lead in to this main area here. I can't get this cover off, but I'm assuming that underneath here is the actual physical disconnect. And this has to be where you can either select 20 or 60 volts. So however they did it it's still a secret but i just wanted to show you the inside of the pack how it was um constructed everything's well protected 
Um, I'm not seeing any kind of dampers on the batteries, any kind of foam padding or anything like that. But the uh, cage that holds the batteries, it's very snug. So these aren't moving around. It's really well made. The wires are all out of the way and the bars are um, substantial. Good thickness on the bars. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you want to see more tools taken apart. <laughs>